This is where those disturbing banners were displayed, right on this pedestrian walkway in the heart of Walnut Creek. Tonight, city leaders are strongly condemning it. It was like a gut punch to turn the corner and see that. Maya Borghetta describes how she felt seeing the pedestrian overpass near her home covered in banners with disturbing messages Saturday afternoon. They had slogans like, it's okay to be pro-white and white lives matter. They had um, signs encouraging people to go look up videos that went to um, Holocaust denial and racist videos. And it was very disturbing. Borgetta, who is Filipina and Jewish, says she was so disturbed she posted her concerns and a photo on social media. We blurred out those hurtful messages, but they definitely caught the attention of a lot of folks. So when I was driving home, I saw a sign across the top of the bridge that said, uh, it is okay to be pro-white. Uh, thought it was a really abrasive sign. It's not something we really expect here in Walnut Creek. These are awful, vile leaflets that we've seen dropped in other Bay Area communities. Over Just a few weeks ago, City Councilman Kevin Wilk publicly condemned the discovery of anti-Semitic leaflets discovered in neighborhoods on the border of Walnut Creek and Concord. He's equally outraged about the banners. But it's the exact same type of things that we've seen from the Nazis. These are today's Nazis. The mayor says police are investigating the case. This type of messaging is not welcome in Walnut Creek. Walnut Creek doesn't tolerate hate speech or hate messaging of any kind. It is not who we are as a community. It's absolutely a hate crime. These are the kind of things that hate crime was made for because even freedom of speech has limitations. In Walnut Creek, Jody Hernandez, NBC Bay Area News.